Welcome back everyone. Uh, we're back on the Music Lounge and we are here on our new episode. Um, I am your host Sif and to my right is my lovely co-host. She can introduce herself. Hi everyone, I am Chachinda Kambewe and I'm your co-host for the Music Lounge. Okay, so today we're going to have a familiar face for those um, familiar with our Black youth facebook and youtube channel i i am personally excited this is this has been an interview that i've really prepared for <laughs> because uh, mm-hmm. i've been i've been i've been waiting for this for this guy to come in and and i'm pretty excited um mm-hmm. so yeah how are you today? i'm okay i'm mm-hmm. doing okay i'm doing okay how are you i'm, I'm okay i'm doing all right i'm, doing all right. I'm um, excited about our uh, the guest who's coming <laughs> in today i am i am i actually wanted to ask you why you are you know why are you so excited for this one? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say who he is or what he does mm. or where he sings or what, mm. but but I, I do enjoy the music that he or they put out, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and and I'm really excited to hear more about him and get to know more about him. So yeah, mm. uh, right after the break, we're going to be joined by our guest and you know get to know more about him. I'm sure the audience, some of them also want to know more about this guy, <laughs> especially yeah. the ladies, <laughs> like Tati and <Dahia>. here. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you right after the break, mm-hmm. and our guest will be joining us at that moment. So we'll see you right after the break. Welcome back, everyone, to the Music Lounge. Um, our guest for today has just joined us. So, um, so yeah, without further ado, uh, we're going to have our guest introduce himself. Okay, hello, viewers. My name is Ivan Stabon mm. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nube. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I'm Zif. This is... No, you introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Chachenda, and yeah, we're going to be your, your hosts for today's episode. So... Mm. Um, Evans, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Okay. What exactly about myself? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Evans is a simple guy, one you can easily bump into. Really? Mm. Into the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm more of a musician, um, but I'm more of a musician, I'm a mean, songwriter, and uh, I also sing. Okay. Mm. Right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, but you left something out that I'm sure the oh, the viewers maybe already know <laughs> that uh, you're a member of the rock. You know, one thing that I should say, mm. people is is does it bug you that people sometimes mess up how to pronounce the name of the group? The rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how it's 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 what it's the rock. The, the rock. The... Yeah, with the uh, e. Okay. <laughs> So, so when you're saying it, it's just the for eff- emphasis, the oh. rock. Oh, so it's not okay. the rock. No, 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 not the rock. Okay, pesa ba in the eighty the rock. Ah, uh, okay. And did it this whole time? I thought I was saying it right. No, so I was saying it right. No, so I was saying it right. I was saying it the rock. was saying it right. I 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 was saying it So how long have you been singing in... All right, you ex- you excuse me for this episode because I'm sending that to you back. Yeah. But the rock, how long have you been singing? Um, I started singing with the rock 2020. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I must say it's up to now. I'm saying I'm still with the rock. Okay. Mm. And which parts do you sing? I sing bass. Mm. Okay. Obvious. Okay. Obvious. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, what else? That's now we don't go confirm because we don't go to voice city. I want. Very cool. My bass. Okay. And um, do you you just sing bass? Yet you know other part. I sing bass and tenor. Okay. Second tenor, baritone. Mm. Yeah. But which one do you do you feel more comfortable in? Well, bass and second tenor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which mm. also to to say that was if um he's. He's an, <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's upcoming. He's, I, I think, I don't know if you're going to be a little bit of a musician. I don't know if you're going to be a musician. I don't know if you're going to be a musician. 
<laughs> but when I want to talk to you, it's like I you know. So how long have you been singing for? Well, not with the rock, but in general. Like, well, I've moved from one group to another. Okay. okay. It has been quite a journey. I started singing at the age of five. Wow. I was doing solos by then. And uh, at, uh, in high school, I used to sing, I started singing soprano. Soprano? Oh. Yeah, I used to sing soprano. <laughs> okay. Then, in high school? <laughs> yes, I was singing soprano. So how did you go from soprano then to from alto? from soprano bass. to alto, tenor, up until I started singing bass in upper six. Yeah. Okay. How long has the rock been there? Quite Since 2018, really? okay. in 2018, but you know they were they still, were practicing <laughs> still <laughs> in the pipeline. Yes, okay, yes. because I started hearing them recently, maybe like a year or two ago. That's why I'm thinking 2018. Mm, okay, yes, okay, yes. all right. So. Has The Rock ever thought of putting girls? Is it just like a mainly guys group? <laughs> or have you, has it ever been a conversation mm. about having females within the group? Well, I can't say anything right now. Okay. <laughs> the future is unpredictable. Mm. But um, it's, a, it's a male setup okay. Okay. as of now. Okay. But I don't know if God allows us to you know, come up with other plans. Mm. Okay. Other plans to introduce maybe another person, another she voice mm. or whatever mm. yeah okay okay you mentioned in the beginning that you're a songwriter yes i am have you written any songs yes I, i've done so many songs i've written songs for streams of praise okay, okay. titled onyaradza i also did a rearrangement for fan faith which is uh, on their current album okay, okay. which one's that one uh, the one that goes, the blood that cleanses my sinful state. Oh, my oh, that's right. Mm. Oh, okay, 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 mm. okay. The one I actually did a solo there. Okay. okay. Mm. So, do you branch out as a solo artist or you're mainly within the, the, the group setup? Yeah, I'm also doing my, my solo project. Um, I've, um, I've recently done... Um, so you know, it's on NDP. It's on okay. YouTube. Okay. Um, it's a rearrangement okay. of uh, two original songs. Okay. The other one is a yim. Yeah. You can search it. It's there on YouTube. Okay. It's on Mavan- Mavanzo. Okay. Mavanzo. Yeah. Mavanzo Music Channel. Yeah. Okay. Link in description. <laughs> Don't forget to put that in. <laughs> Don't yeah. forget sure. to put that in. Sure. Okay. okay. And would you say... Um, being a songwriter. Okay, wait, what do you enjoy more? Being a songwriter or singing? I think I enjoy songwriting because it allows me to to connect with God. Okay. For lack of a better term. Mm. Okay. Connect. Mm. Because when you are writing a song, it has to make sense to you before you put it out. Mm. There are certain, as for me, I, 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 I have derived the, this, um, uh, what you call it, I don't know what you call it, but uh, it's more of a definition of music that, that says music is an answer to a prayer okay. and a prayer. So it's, it's more of a, I derived it from reunion when I joined reunion. Mm-hmm. So to me, when I'm writing songs, I'm giving a testimony. I, I usually write songs that have more to do with my experience as a Christian, my journey as a Christian. Mm-hmm. Um, for instance, the, I'll give you an example of the song that I wrote uh, called uh, Onyaradza. Mm-hmm. You know, when you, <coughs> uh, there was a time in my life when I just felt like, where is God? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is God still existing or or is he defunct for lack of a better term? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um 
then there's a time that I went on to read the Bible. Then I bumped into a scripture that was saying, mm-hmm. Okay. the comforter. And ever since that day, that verse started making sense in my life. Okay. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Mm-hmm. The, the, no matter how tough the situations might be, no matter how, you know, the turmoils that we face on earth, the, God will always be in control. Mm-hmm. One way or the other, the Holy Spirit intervenes. So I wrote the song, Onyarat. And so to me, songwriting is more powerful because it allows me to connect to God and really have time to, you know, put my thoughts together and say, where am I going? And it also allows me to to look at other people's lives. Okay. Okay. How am I going to channel this message to influence someone? So that God is not a joke. You know, life in this life that we are living in, Christianity has become more of a name than a description. Yeah. Okay. It's, 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 but you want to put it out. Kuti, yeah. It's not about, you know, mob psychology or whatever, mm. because so many people do things because everyone is doing it. True. So True. now it gives me an impetus that drive your good tea you got to tell someone that God exists through my testimonies that I put in writing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay, that's very, very profound. Yes, Thank you for that. Thank uh, God and never the ancestors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you say, well, your musical journey has now, well, brought you closer to God and improved your relationship with him? Yes, it has. I remember there was a time when I said, uh, I remember I, I mentioned that I, I actually did political science. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there was a time when I was now chasing after my career, you know. Then I said, ah, it's the music, it's wounded disturb. Okay. Mm-hmm. But if it's a calling, mm-hmm. if it's a calling, mm-hmm. it's a calling. Yeah. You can't escape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. by the mm. so yeah. yeah, so I would say, uh, music uh, allows me to to reflect. I understand God more through music. Mm. Okay, my hymns. I can barely have any hymn in a hymnbra. You singer my lyrics. Okay. And uh, those hymns have got sermons in them that have helped me maneuver in terms of because at it, it, that time, like that was that I was referring to, and then I'm going, ah, let me stop singing. Mm-hmm. The devil will, will destroy you. Yeah. The That's devil, true. yeah, Satan and Tambani, yeah. and uh, right in the middle of that filthy dungeon of you know confusion and all that the lord was there mm-hmm. and because of and keep a song in your heart the song that the songs that were implanted yeah, all that yeah. music experience helped me not to to give up on god and in as much as i was compelled you know to to give up on god mm-hmm. um those songs were there to remind me that you shouldn't be daunted by repeated setbacks in life. You should press on, keep on keeping on, mm. you know. And so I can say music, I cannot separate, to me, I cannot separate music and my God. Okay. And the God that I worship because I feel there is a nexus, a strong nexus between the two. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> So maybe what advice would you give to someone who is who is struggling with that aspect 
of music ye kuti ye ndi notoda kuimba ndo tonzo wano achitoti hey you uh, know things like yeah. that so my advice to to musicians and other people talented out there when you think of singing uh think of yourself as a contemporary philosopher okay explain <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> uh, okay uh, back then we used to have philosophers there to the you know the aristotles the platos and to mention that just a few um they would write uh, theories that would actually enable people you know suggest be how people should live you know their perspective about the life in general and all that and th- to a great extent they would influence the community and the society mm-hmm. <clears throat> as opposed now 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 people are, are no longer you know bookworms as as we used to be before mm-hmm. people are now into fast things mm-hmm. and music is you know you can just put earphones or even usuru auto tera no nge tera so what impact are you going to bring to the society as a contemporary philosopher okay what would this one go teach you yes you're, you're singing yes so gonna get so what mm. at the end of the day uh, you don't want to waste time you see the thing is it's neither black or white mm-hmm. okay so it's either we influence kwa namari mm-hmm. or the opposite is true mm-hmm. so you have to be very careful when you are when you are out there singing you are touching lives you are influencing someone so i would want to say kana wa kapiwa tarenda if you are talented mm-hmm. and especially if you can sing sing for the lord mm-hmm. and you would rather have your name shut nza mm-hmm. agonia or whatever usapi mm-hmm. wembiri but stara mari ra kudzwa kwaita muna achinja marara miro because of the music that you're singing mm-hmm. i think that that's that's where the focus should be mm-hmm. not necessarily getting money out of it Yeah because if you want to focus on getting money out of it believe you me wafanana ne munhu ya anozot kuna mwari muda ku ripa pamusina ku Yeah because it's not meant yes if money comes along the way glory be to god but don't do it for money do it for the lord sure yeah okay yeah thank you for that thank you Um so you know I'm sure um we're all looking forward to a performance from Evans so today um he's going to be singing him 66 right him yes. 66 was in what language <laughs> vernacular <laughs> in vernacular okay yeah. okay okay he's going to be singing him 66 for us so you know as we digest um the insights that he's shared with us so far and his experiences we are now going to to listen to the song from events hymn number 66 
So mm. what what did you think of the performance? Well, I enjoyed it as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I shared the same sentiments. It was it's a very touching song, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, with some of these hymns, there are some hymns, uh-huh. but you know, music is so powerful that each and every time you listen to a song, you know, even if you think, ah, you know, I've heard this one so many mm. times before, it, it speaks to you differently. So, yeah, I think that's the experience that I just had with this one, yeah. hymn number 66. I think, yeah, it, it rebirthed something in me. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, their hymns do not age. That's one thing that I've noticed. That's mm. one thing you can see, mm. Guti. We've been singing hymnals, these hymnals, since I was born. Mm. But I can literally keep singing the same hymnal and it will never change the way I feel about it. Yeah. So I guess that's the main difference I see with hymnals and, well, music now. Yeah. You know, you can listen to a song that's been written or something and you think, ah, you sing yeah. a young boy. But hymnals are just there and they've always been there and will never expire. Yeah. I believe that. And and thank you so much for that hymnal. I, I added... I'm, usually we have this tradition where we sing on A. So okay. I don't know. Are we going to sing 66 or we pick another one? I don't know. Do we know have what, another what hymnal you that, you, that you yeah. enjoy besides that one? I think 66. 66. 66. Okay. 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 Let's no go problem. with that one. Mm. Uh, I don't know. The, well, I know the lyrics, but I mean, there's no song waiting. So <laughs> in front of the camera, I don't know. Song mm. go, that's all. Yeah. Who can pitch the song? Ah, I am worried the song. Ah, to move the chair. Musi, musi waka na kisisa. Is that a good pitch? No. Yeah, no, 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 no that's too high for me. Musi yeah. waka. That's better. Okay. So I start. <coughs> 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 Musi waka na kisisa apondaka musaruta moyo wangu wafaira mwari wangu namponesi musiwe Rufaro Jesu andi Samba moyo Wandi titi Sakurinda Nekufara Kuna mata Musiwe Rufaro Jesu wandi samba moyo. Yeah, so um, this is it for today's episode. Thank you to our audience as usual. Thank you as well. I'm sure I'm sure you guys are also sharing, you know, our our promos, our content. So we appreciate that so so much. Keep on doing that. Um, so don't forget to like to comment, to share, to subscribe, to follow our Facebook page as well, Bluffio SDA Church. Um, YouTube is Bluffio SDA Church as well. So yeah, um, and remember, once again, if you would like to be part of this program, feel free to contact the number that's on your screen right now, and we will contact you and see, you know, how to make some magic together. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, and we will see you next week. Jesus, one day, some.